ask you a question. Uh oh. Do you think? <laughs> do you think that, that never you, leads anywhere good, I, Joe? It's never a good thing. <laughs> do you think you have an ego? Oh, that's one of those questions where you, whatever you say is going to be the wrong answer. I think the truth is, like, yeah. <laughs> if you say, no, I'm so humble, well, then, Then you, know. you have an ego. And if you say that I do have an ego, you're going to sound like kind of a jerk. But I do think <laughs> we all, in some place, have ego, or I think another word for that would be pride, right? At yeah, different yeah. times in your, I don't know, my, my life, spending time with God is so great, because he's like, mm, you see that little thing right over there? I like to call that pride. You need to <laughs> deal with that. It's like, oh. Well, yeah. I think there can be different kinds. Of, if we're going to talk about pride, like, you know, I can say, hey, I'm proud uh, of my church or I'm proud of my kids. There's that good kind of pride. But what we're talking about here is ego. Ego that can kind of get in the way of what God wants to do. And ego can get us in a lot of trouble sometimes because we might we say things have or do things. We all have it. And, you know, you came across a great list about ego that kind of... Uh, I thought you were going to say something <laughs> else. I'm glad you I did. <laughs> Apparently God's convicting you right now. But anyway, you came yes. across a great list about things, that, uh, red flags that tell you that your ego is keeping you from God's plan. Tell me one of them. Yeah, well, the first thing it says here that ego above all hates change. Mm. If you ask the ego to rank its greatest fears, change would take the top spot. Mm. I wonder, do you think that's true? Yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, why? I do. Why? Um, I think that sometimes we don't want to trust God. We just want our comfort zones oh, okay. and the way that we want it, right? And and when you talked in the first half about surrender, that's mm. sometimes surrendering to God's plan, doing what you don't want to do, doing the thing that's scary and risky. That's about laying down your pride, too, and, and being willing to fail or be scared or have a hard life in some ways okay. sometimes. Okay, well, the ego also minimizes sins of the heart and focuses on sins of the flesh. We'll say, well, well, I don't have sexual sin. I don't have this big sin, so therefore like I'm person. okay. Uh, yeah, and so ego can kind of do that. It takes the focus off of your sin, and you so easily look at the sins of others. You know, the truth is we're not going to get a chance to cover all of these, but uh, make sure you go to our website. We're going to list that there for you.